Hey guys, this is Casper Rood, and this week I'm in Phoenix for the Arizona Tennis Classic. They're so strange, the mountains here. They don't look like real. Have, like... It's really nice, you know, it's... Uh, on the tour, you're, you're many times in big and, and cool cities to be in, but you don't maybe get to go out as much as you, as you would want and explore. So, I mean, this, um, this nature in this place is really nice. You know, you have a great view behind me of the mountains and we're up in the mountains a little bit here. And, you know, it's just fun to see something else than tennis courts and tennis balls. So, it's, uh, I don't do it too often, but now I have my family with me and, and they also like to, to do other stuff. So. It's a, it's a good combination. Of course, I'm always focused on the tennis and all, all the things that I have to do in the matches and the trainings, but uh, it's just nice to have them around to relax a little bit in the, in the evenings and go out for some nice dinners. And, you know, last week it didn't go so well for me in Indian Wells and we took a small trip to Las Vegas on the way here and it was fun, you know, to do something else. And yeah, it's... Uh, I've been away from, from Europe and from home for, for quite some weeks now and it's nice to, to get the family over to, to kind of recharge and uh, see them a little bit again before they head back and I, I continue. It's uh, not always possible of course, but here was a good opportunity and we, we took it. Of course I'm proud. It's, uh, he's actually also a couple of years younger than I was when I got top 100. So, uh, He's way ahead of me and uh, yeah, he's been working hard and uh, it's been his mission for a couple of years now and uh, I think he's proud of himself and I'm also proud of him. It's one of everybody that are coming up, one of the big big goals and uh, of course it's not my, my, my ultimate goal in my career to be a top 100 player but of course it's one of, one of a big step on the road and you know you get the, the ranking with the double digits and uh, Hopefully you'll be able to play main draw of the, the Grand Slams without the qualifying. So, so it's, um, so it's a great step and you know a little bit relief to get there. And I did I did play play really good in Sao Paulo and Rio that uh, that uh, got me the last step. So of course it's uh, it's nice to to enjoy it a little bit, but I have to keep keep going for more and staying humble and keep practicing, keep working hard, and um, hopefully I'll I'll be able to go even further. I haven't watched every match of the two years, but I've watched a little bit here and there, and I think it's a great initiative by the ATP that we try to shorten the matches a little bit. It's a little bit uh, more open who, who can win, and of course there can be some really short matches on less than an hour, but there can also be really tight and close match in two hours and 20, so it's, uh, it's everything in between there instead of you know, if you're playing a five-set thriller, you can go up to five, six hours, so I think that's what they're trying to do. And, and I think it's uh, looking fun, and I would, uh, I think I would enjoy a lot to play there this year. And of course, that's uh, also one of the goals for the season to, to end to end the season in Milan and uh, be able to compete against my uh, players in my age. And uh, of course, we are all hungry to to beat each other. We're also good friends and uh, off the court, and we all know each other. So I think it will be a very nice event.